everyone and welcome back to another video so in today's video I will be showing you guys how I make sorrel fruit cake so if you're interested in seeing how I make sorrel fruit cake please stay tuned to the video start off by creaming 200 grams of butter so this is 200 grams of butter and two cups of brown sugar while the sugar and the butter is being creamed over on that side I have gone ahead to prepare two cups of all-purpose flour so to that I'm gonna add one teaspoon of ground nutmeg one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of cinnamon powder and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda So now I'm going to go ahead to add five eggs to the sugar and the butter, removing the eye. So to this I will be adding half half of tablespoon of French vanilla. So even though I'm using a one teaspoon here, I'm just gonna gauge it to make it a half a teaspoon, a half of tablespoon, sorry. So a half of tablespoon of French vanilla and one full tablespoon of almond extract and one full tablespoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna let this mix for a next little while. So to the mixture you guys, I will be adding three cups of pureed sorrel. Thank you. 
and also one and a half cups of mixed fruits soaked mixed fruits so this has been soaking in rum and wine and if you guys would like to see a video of how I do my mixed fruits leave me a comment down below and I'll do a video on how to do the mixed fruits how I do my mixed fruits So we're going to close this down. So to the wet ingredient, I will be adding one tablespoon of red food coloring. This is just to give it a little bit of color, that nice red color. So it's, it's a little bit uh, less than um, one tablespoon because I only have this much left. But one tablespoon of red food coloring. So now I will be adding in the dry ingredients into the batter. So I'm just incorporating everything that I sifted earlier. And I'm going to be adding a little at a time to the cake batter. So I've gone on to grease and flour my baking tin off camera. So I'm just gonna be pouring the mix. I'm just gonna be pouring the mixture into the tin. So I'm just scraping off everything here
So now I'm gonna be baking it you guys on 350 degrees for one and a half hours. So once it's ready, I'm gonna come back on camera just to show you guys what it looks like. So guys, my Sorrel fruit cake is now finished. So it was in the oven for about two hours approximately. So this is it, this is what it's looking like. As you can see, it's very moist, it tastes very delicious. And take a look at it. If you, I hope the camera can pick it up. But yeah, it's very moist, it's a very nice rich cake. So I hope you can follow this recipe and enjoy it with your family. But yeah, so far this is what my Sorrel fruit cake is looking like. So thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.